Hey guys, you can see I've got a DaVinci printer here which has been stripped down. Why? Uh, because when I was doing 3D prints it was failing halfway through and shutting down. So first step was I got another DaVinci, I unplugged the power supply from its board and back to back positioned the printers and plugged in here so these are your power supply plugs are here and here from your board, from your power supply and it did a whole print job so I knew basically that the original power supply was suspect uh, now I, I have found a source for this one this is basically, I did some searching it's basically a flex ATX form factor um, I've got the dimensions here 150 millimeter by 81.5 by 40.5 so it's a, actually a PC power supply and you can see here where I photographed the main connections you've got ground ground 12 volt 12 volt so you've got black for ground yellow is for 12 volt and on the other one we've got 5 volt 12 volt ground and 3.3 volt so basically 12 volts yellow grounds black reds 5 volt and orange is 3.3 so I found another uh, power supply this is just a regular ATX power supply it's very high power rating I don't know if you can read upside down but it's a 650 watts this little guy is rated at 200 watts so this is way way more than enough in fact this could probably drive two printers um, now this actually came off the RepRap Pro printer that I have sitting in, in storage so what I've done is I've found that the 12 volt ground lead plugs straight in uh, but the other one with the 3 volt, 5 volt, 12 volt ground I actually had to do a bit of rewiring the original plug was wired as though it was facing the opposite way so basically I cut the original plug off this supply here, here and I cut this one off and just did the old heat soldering and heat shrinking of all four of them so it's a wide up red, red, black, black, orange, orange, yellow, yellow. And you can see now all the lights are on. It's happy. So we're going to do a print test job, but I suspect everything is going to be fine. So that's your quick fix if your power supply goes. You can get these ATX power supplies for around $50. Um, but there are uh, online sites, uh, I think the 3D printing, 3D print website can source these. I've got an email back from them saying they can source these. But as I said before, it's a flex ATX form factor. The difference is you may not get the exactly the same uh, lead. So see, I had to change this one if you get a regular PC power supply as opposed to the one made for the printer. So the printer one will have all the leads exactly right. Whereas if you get the other alternative, you'll have to do a little bit of hacking. It's not hard to do. All this information is available on Wikipedia, the colors and the voltages and everything else. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I've actually added a little uh, jumper across. That's going on the main plug that's going from the green wire to one of the black wires. I found that information online. And basically, uh, you can see here on the original, the black and green are actually going to these two which actually went to the power switch so that's how you would normally turn that on and off but I couldn't see the point of doing that because this one already has a switch on here so that's why I put that jumper in okay I hope that guys and girls that is interesting for you and remember this is a DaVinci 1.0 printer thank you